Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. It is my favorite time of year. It's fall, which means it's football, y'all. Today, we're gonna be making some really yummy foods. Clemson plays at four o'clock this afternoon, so the guys are outside doing yard work. I'm gonna be inside making some yummy foods, and then we're gonna sit down and watch Clemson football. So today, I'm gonna show you three different recipes that you can make that would be great for tailgating, or great for just watching football at home, or just great for a Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna be making three different dishes today. Two of them are more of a savory dish, and then I've got one sweet that I'm gonna be making, and I'm gonna make it first. It is chocolate peanut butter cookies. I've got our oven preheating to 375. I'm gonna mix our wet ingredients. The first thing I need is half a cup of shortening. I'm using this Crisco butter flavored shortening, and a half a cup is eight tablespoons. Next, I need three-fourths a cup of creamy peanut butter. I've got one and one fourth cup of packed light brown sugar, three tablespoons of milk, and just one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna move this over to where my electric mixer is at and I'm going to beat this until it is well blended and then I will be adding in my egg. Now that this is creamed together, I'm gonna add our egg. And we're gonna blend this just until it's mixed together. Now we're gonna combine our dry ingredients. I need one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. I need one half a cup of cocoa. You want to make sure that you don't pack it into your measuring cup, you just lightly pour it. And I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just gonna mix this together. Now I'm just gonna add our dry ingredients over into our wet ingredients, little by little, and just mix it on low speed. That's it, it was so simple. So now I'm just going to use this scooper and put my dough balls here on the ungreased cookie sheet. And now I'm just gonna press into them in a crisscross pattern with this fork. Okay, these are going in a 375 degree oven for seven to eight minutes. Okay, I let the cookies cool on the baking sheet for just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna transfer them over to this cooling rack and we're gonna finish out our other two batches of cookies and then we'll get started on the savory snacks. Next up, I'm gonna be making Mexican spinach dip. I'm preheating the oven to 350. I've got this square baking dish. I'm going to spray with a little bit of Pam. My cream cheese has been sitting out for just a little bit, but I'm gonna pop it in the microwave just to soften it up just a little bit more. To get started, I'm gonna put in my softened cream cheese. This is an entire block or eight ounces. I've got a third a cup of sour cream. And I'm also going to be adding in some jalapeno. This is one large jalapeno that I did take all the seeds out of and just chopped it really fine. I'm gonna mix all of this together. Next, I'm adding in two cans of Rotel. I did drain these really, really well because we don't want too much liquid. Now I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I've diced really finely and a 10 ounce box of frozen spinach that I thawed and then squeezed dry. I used my handy dandy cheese shredder and shredded three cups of cheddar cheese. I'm gonna add that in now. I'm 
Lastly, we're going to season the mixture. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, and about a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay, I'm going to mix all of this together and we're just going to put it over here in the baking dish. I'm just going to set this to the side. It's not going in the oven quite yet. It's got to bake for the same amount of time and at the same temperature as our next dish, so let's assemble that. The next thing we're going to make are chicken bacon ranch sliders. Here's everything we're going to need. The only thing I really need to do as far as cooking, well, I've already cooked up my bacon. You can see that over there. I need to crumble that up, but I do need to make some seasoned butter, so let's grab a saucepan and do that really quickly. I've got this small saucepan heated to medium. Well, it's heating up to medium. I'm gonna add in a half a cup of butter or a whole stick of butter and let that melt completely down. That is melted, so now we're gonna add in our seasonings. We've got about a tablespoon of chives, a teaspoon of garlic salt, and a half of a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, I am using King's Hawaiian Rolls. The recipe calls for potato rolls, but I couldn't find any at my grocery store. So I'm gonna cut them in half using a serrated knife. I'm gonna take the tops off. I'm gonna transfer the bottom to this baking sheet that I have lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna use about one third of this butter and brush the bottoms with that. This already smells really good. Next, I'm gonna take my Colby Jack cheese. I have 12 slices and I'm going to layer half of that onto the bottom of this. Now I'm gonna take my deli meat, which is thinly sliced chicken breast. I do have a pound here. I'm gonna layer this on top of the cheese. Now I'm just going to crumble my bacon and layer it on top. It called for eight slices of bacon. I don't think I had quite eight left in a package and I didn't want to open up another package. You can tell Steven isn't in here because there's not another set of hands reaching over here and grabbing this bacon off of here. <laughs> it calls for about a third a cup of ranch dressing. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Now I'm gonna to top it with the remainder of the cheese. Now it says to add some more of our butter on top of the cheese, okay? I'm gonna put our tops on. Now I'm gonna take this remaining butter and put it all over the top and the sides. It's a mess, but it is gonna be so good. Speak of the devil, here he comes. He smelled that bacon, y'all. Look, I saved you a piece, baby. <laughs> the last touch before it goes in the oven is I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a little Parmesan cheese. Now I'm just gonna cover it very loosely with some aluminum foil. And this is gonna go in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes, and then I will take off the full and it will go in for 10 more minutes and then it'll be done. Also going in the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes is our Mexican spinach dip. Okay, it has been a long day of cooking for me and the boys have been working outside a lot. So they are hungry and it's about 20 minutes to kick off, but food is ready and he's ready. These look delicious. I am so looking forward to this. Mmm. Wow. I mean, right off the bat, you get the, the Parmesan cheese. Mm-hmm. 
the really good saltiness of the Parmesan cheese, and then the bacon. And then comes the, the softness of this bread. It's like a, I love the, the texture of this type of bread. And then you get the cheese and then, oh man, it's just so good. Is that good football food, oh, baby? Wow, this is really good. I love this type of little hot sandwich, like a little hot slider. Yes. And it's so unique too, it's very different. Good. Love it. Let's try out this dip here. It's Mexican spinach dip, baby. Never had that. Mmm, yes, that is delicious. You like that? Do you like it better than regular spinach mm -hmm. dip? You do? Mm -hmm. I had a feeling you would just because it has that spice level. Mm. Oh yeah. Now I'm getting more of the spice now. Is it good? Wow, that is really, really, really good. I never would have thought that spinach would go well with this like this. That is delicious. Yay. Mm. All right, so we're two for two. Finish that up and then try a cookie. He really wants to keep digging into that I other really stuff. Want these two right here. <laughs> but go ahead and just try the cookie here for us. First of all, it's really soft texture. Yay. Wow. Mmm. Really good chocolate peanut butter cookie. Mm-hmm. Um, not much else to say, huh? There's really not much else to say. I mean, it's really good. Um, it's cooked. You know, perfectly. It's, it's not, not hard. It's not hard. I don't like crunchy cookies. Y'all yeah. let me know below. When you, when you eat a chocolate peanut butter cookie, it's got to be soft. Yes. Well, so let me know below. Do you like crunchy cookies or soft cookies? I'm more of a soft cookie kind of girl. But I have a feeling he is more interested in digging into... This dip? <laughs> oh, man. This is phenomenal. So, baby, I get two thumbs up for everything. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Let's finish eating and let's go watch some Clemson football. Thank y'all so much for watching. We all three loved these recipes and I cannot wait to make them again. I hope you'll give them a try. If you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Thanks y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye.